Okay, I'm now going to show you how I use the VLOOKUP function to help support the manual entry of each candidate onto a nine box grid for a competency. Now this particular client didn't just want a nine box grid for their overall performance and potential. They wanted a nine box grid per competency so that they could really identify which individual needed development in each particular competency and who their stars were. To help do that, I needed to identify where each particular individual needed to be placed in that nine box grid. But it was going to be quite taxing to work with the numerical information in this original data set. So I decided to use a lookup function which would tell me which grid that they needed to be placed in within that nine with those nine boxes. So if I go here to this um, separate sheet, I've already created a table for the sake of this demonstration, which will help to summarize this information. And I'll show you how I do the VLOOKUP function. You can see at the top that I have the uh, nine competencies listed as a header. And I'm hoping to be able to show you the particular value which will indicate which box that this candidate needs to be placed in. So on the left hand side, I have a little figure here, which is the codes that I've used to represent each quadrant of the nine box grid. Now, if you remember the uh, format of a nine box grid, you have measures of performance and potential. The left lowest grid, sorry, the lower left grid is indicating somebody with a measure of low performance and um, low future potential. The top right hand quadrant indicating the opposite of somebody with quite strong performance measures and high future potential. So we go back to this grid placement. What I have is an individual score for each performance and potential measure for each candidate. However, I need to use these two in conjunction to determine which quadrant they need to be placed. To do this, I created the following table. Now, for each particular possibility of the way that this could be expressed, I've written it in the following format. It would be a measure of performance and a measure of potential, separated by a column. So if somebody had a one, in the original data set for their measure of performance, it would be 1, comma, followed by the score that they had for their measure of potential for that competency. A 1 and a 1, being both low on those two measures, would mean that they would be placed in the first quadrant. And I did this for all possible variations of the scores. Now, that would make it easier for me to be able to use the information I have in the data set to be able to look up which quadrant that they need to be in. That's it. So let me show you how I would first not only write this, but do so in a way that the first value would be in the same format as the table I created on the left hand side. So let's start. We start with a VLOOKUP function, open bracket. Now the lookup value is actually not going to be the ID in this instance because it's all being drawn across from the data set. Now for the lookup value, I need to create it in the format of the table to the left hand side. So for this first candidate that we have in all of the other spreadsheets, let's have a look at what their measure of performance was. We can actually take that from the performance potential grid that we worked on earlier. So for this candidate, for this particular competency, their performance was a score of two. So if we click this, it will come in our formula here. Now to separate it with a comma, to put it in the format of our other table, we need to put an AND function, followed by a colon, followed by another AND, ampersand, followed by the potential. We'll then go column, and we'll need to put in the table array. So if we go back to the original sheet that we're working on, 
The lookup table array is actually going to be the table that I was mentioning to you earlier, which is the uh, going to be indicating the quadrant number that I've coded in that little image. If we highlight that table of all the possible variations, that will be our table array. Comma. The column index number that we want them to look up is number 2. So we want it to tell us what quadrant that they're going to be placed. All right, two. Obviously, we want it to be an exact match, so we're going to type false and end that. So for this particular candidate, they should be in quadrant two. That should mean that theoretically, they have a low measure of performance and moderate measure of future performance potential. So if we have a look at that, we can see that that is absolutely the case. So it's given us the right value. All you would need to do if you wanted to replicate this for the rest of the candidates that you have listed by their ID, make sure to um, secure any of these particular values. So for example, we would not want the table array to change, we want it to be fixed. So using a dollar sign, you can make sure that this does not change. And then you can drag that down. So for each candidate now, you'll know which quadrant that they need to be placed. And you can do exactly the same formula for the other nine competencies. You can then manually, if you needed to, copy and paste the ID into the nine box grid. As a sneak um, tip, I often find that still this requires a bit of manual labor, so what I will do is I will actually apologize, apply a filter, which will allow me to filter through who I should include in quadrant one. By doing this, I actually make it a lot easier for myself to copy paste those values where they belong in the nine box grid. Obviously making it a little bit more attractive, but that is the main gist. And that is how I use the VLOOKUP function to help support the manual entry of a large number of candidates into a nine box grid per competency.